The issue of perception was he was childlike and innocent and open. Prince, conversely, was, um, you know, clearly sexual, but ambiguously sexual. So there was a very feminine sexuality that he cultivated. And his only Michael had, if not femininity, certainly a childishness. So I mean, there, there were actually completely polar opposites. Being around, you know, everyday people and stuff, I feel strange. I do. Well, I think what's interesting about Michael Jackson's sort of sexual evolution as a, as a youngster is that he was always at cross purposes and always getting mixed messages. There was a lot of uh, sex going on while the Jacksons were on the road when they were teenagers. And so Michael was seeing all kinds of, uh, of sexual sort of uh, involvement when he was a young kid. But then from his mother, who was a de de devoted Jehovah's Witness, he was taught, you know, to be, you know, pure and honest and virginal and to lead a, a different kind of sort of biblical life. Whereas Prince was out there gyrating and, you know, making X-rated songs, uh, and he was uh, definitely not a family values kind of entertainer.